Welcome to Rascal Apiary. My name is Mike. I'm a journeyman beekeeper in North Carolina and today we're going to talk about bee poop. I'm so excited as you click this video to learn about something pretty fascinating, bee poop. What these little girls are releasing all over the world will surprise you because you've probably seen it every day. Bee poop. <laughs> Let's start at the beginning. From an egg to a bee, bees eat a mix of pollen and nectar called bee bread or plain old nectar, pollen, or honey. Once they consume that through their mouth, the food heads down the esophagus. The esophagus leads from the mouth, through the thorax, and into the abdomen. As the esophagus reaches the abdomen, it expands, forming what we call the honey stomach. The honey stomach is where the bees store nectar when transporting the nectar from a flower to a cell. In that process, nectar is passed from one bee to the next, transferring from one honey stomach to the next until it reaches the cell in the hive. But if the bee is eating, the food doesn't get stored in the honey stomach. It passes from the honey stomach through a proventriculus. This is the gatekeeper to the digestive system and the other stomachs. I call it the gatekeeper because it's able to open and allow pollen in while keeping nectar out. Pretty fascinating, right? Bees have two stomachs, a honey stomach for storing and a digestive stomach for digesting. The digestive stomach is split into two guts, a midgut or ventriculus and a hindgut or intestine. Most of the digesting occurs in the midgut and that's where our beef, bee's food ends up. The ventriculus takes up a large portion of the abdomen and most of the nutri nutrients get absorbed there and waste separation occurs. Once the food has been processed by the ventriculus, the waste heads to the hindgut, which is an intestine that connects to the rectum. But wait, there's more. When the ventriculus or the midgut connects to the hindgut, there's a, tube, there's a bunch of tubes that branch off. These tubes are called Malfinigans tubes. These tubes spread out through the body and collect waste products from the hemolymphs. The Malfian tubes are cleaning the blood of waste and extracting it out a different hole just above the bee's anus. Now that you know bees have two places they use to get rid of waste, let's talk about the main and last area bee waste is stored before bees use the bathroom. We know that honeybees use the bathroom. However, did you know that worker bees and drones don't use the bathroom inside the hive? They wait until they have a chance to exit the hive. Okay, the rectum and the anus are our last two stops before we see any bee poop. The rectum is large and can store many days worth of waste, allowing the bees in winter to wait until a warm day before they can fly out and use the bathroom. And when they do do, they do. This is what the bees poo looks like. You'll see it on your cars, on your hive, and sometimes on you. Thanks for watching. If you saw what you like, Show us some love. If you didn't, tell me what I could do better. See ya. For the record, there's a good chance I mispronounced all of those words. Malf Malfian tubes? I, I know that I said it during the test and and it worked they said yep you know what you're talking about now it's been a year mouthy into like i know what they do